Let's begin with a brief history of digital photography. In 1975, Eastman Kodak tasked Steve Sasson with finding a purpose for CCDs. CCD stands for Charged Coupled Device, and they transport electronic signals. Steve Sasson faced many challenges on his journey to create the first digital image. But after mastering the process of digitalization, storing the image onto RAM, and finalizing it onto a digital tape, he created the first digital image. The camera consisted of a Super 8 lens, a digital cassette recorder, 16 nickel cadmium batteries, and a dozen circuit boards all wired together. It wasn't beautiful, but it was a technical masterpiece of its time. Today I want to talk about how digital cameras capture still images and the purpose of photosites. Digital and film cameras may look similar, but they do not work the same. Much like the retinas of our own eyes, digital cameras have millions of light receptors, called photosites, on the sensor at the back of the camera, regardless if it's a CMOS or CCG sensor. For example, a 24 megapixel camera has 24 million photosites. When you push the button and the shutter opens, Just that quickly? Light flows into the camera through the lens hitting the image sensor. And on the image sensor, photosites do not touch each other. This is so there's room for other electronics. To maximize the amount of light going into each photosite, photosites have micro lenses on them. To further increase the amount of light going into each photosite, Photosites are shaped to funnel in light particles. When the shutter closes, each photosite determines how many photons entered, determining the electrical charge that then can be converted to a digital value. Unfortunately, photosites are colorblind. To capture color, color filters are placed over photosites. There are two methods, Foveon, which is a stack of color filters, and the Bayer array. Here we're going to be talking about the Bayer Array, because it's much more common. In a Bayer Array, a filter of one of the three primary colors is placed over a photosite. For an example, a photosite with a red filter will only take in red photons, a green filter will only take in green photons, and a blue filter will only take in blue photons. In the pattern, a majority of it is green, and this is because our eyes are most sensitive to the color green. If they use an equal amount of red, blue, and green filters, it'd look a little like this. Kind of unnatural. Right now we're limited by these static filters, but maybe in the future we'll be able to edit them on the fly to get better images underwater and other extreme environments. There's so much more to learn, but I hope you learned a little bit more about the science behind photography. All the links to my sources are down below. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.